No, it was later in the month, right? So this this was a really big deal by so many different measures, so many accidents. What a mess out there. And we've got another round to go this week. Winter weather advisory is all the way uh, already up for it in Montana. Now, winter storm watches are up into Minnesota, not for Minneapolis and the Twin Cities, just north of you is where you're going to see the snow this time. Fargo, Grand Forks, Bismarck, you're in that winter storm watch. And everything gets going throughout the day tomorrow for you there, starting later today into Montana. So let's show you how this plays out. There'll be the snow by lunch time is starting to take shape. Um, it's really, I think, going to take until this afternoon to get this whole big batch of precipitation going. And then overnight, this is 3 a.m. overnight, travel is going to be impacted. Some of the snow rates are going to be heavy at times. If you saw anything happening around Minneapolis yesterday, you, you saw just how fast that snow was coming down and everything just stuck because of that big snowfall rate. And that's the same thing that's going to happen, but probably just to the north of you, Fargo Grand Forks is where we think that those bigger snowfall rates will be in Minneapolis will be on that, that rain snow line. Not to say we're not going to get any snow out of this, but it looks like the bigger amounts to your north. I'm going to finish with a little bit of snow here as we see the colder air settle in at all levels of the atmosphere again in Minneapolis. Any thunder snow like this? or below depending on where you are and it doesn't matter if you're north or south here latitude at this point um, it is changing uh your attitude, but it depends on where you're going. Rapid City, South Dakota, we've got 28 degrees for our Friday high temperature forecast. Compare that at the same latitude to Burlington, Vermont. It is going to be 70. Yes. All right. So it's not just about going north. It depends where the jet stream is and what side you are on of it. To the in with cold this week. There is no change. The only thing that happens is it gets colder. And then to the south, our temperatures are going above average. And we'll see that creep a little bit farther to the north, too. And we do get these numbers up there, potentially to record high levels. Jackson, Kentucky, we're going to 80. The record is 81. So we're close. Springfield, we're going to 84. We could tie it. Dodge City, I don't think we're going to make it. 84 is the forecast. 88 is the record to beat. But still, it's above average. You're thinking much more about flip-flops than you are. Stow boots like you are... like you are up here into Montana and North Dakota and Minnesota where you needed your boots yesterday and you need the big parkas for the end of the week. These temperatures are just insane, really, when you look at how much we are breaking records by. Billings, the record is 19. 11. That is going to be our temperature on Friday morning. Man. Cleveland. Then all this rain in Cleveland this morning. Yeah, we got to watch where that front is. Like you were, buddy, from the cold to the north, the warm to the south. It's creating all the precip and along it this morning. That's why Cleveland, we've got that flash flood warning up for you. Thunderstorms have been sticking around. We've had some big rainy days in parts of Kentucky. Continues again today. We've got more showers and thunderstorms coming your way. So here's our front. And you notice that it doesn't make a lot of progress to the south and east. That's because of the pattern we're in. Things are kind of stuck. It's why you're stuck in the cold and stuck in the warm and stuck in the precipitation too. We'll get some breaks, um, but then it comes back again in, in almost the same areas. So look at Cleveland. We've got thunderstorms today in the forecast, a very rainy day. What you see out your window right now is what you're going to get, unfortunately. More showers around tomorrow morning. Another round comes in on Friday afternoon, and it's not until everything goes through the front on Saturday. And then it, while it dries out, it gets cold, only in the 40s. Jordan. Yeah, we're all 